to think you sought and managed to survive. I doubt you even know how impressive that is. I... Oh, the truth. Regardless, I can't accept the decision you made. You're expelled. What? After that shared experience, that whole bonding encounter? The trains are still running. She's tough. Get on one. Thank you for everything. She'll come around. She'll come around. She's a teacher. She's teaching them something. This is a lesson, right? Don't kick us out. I love you. <laughs> Episode 13, Beasts of Doublet. You idiots! <laughs> you're so busy pouting, you can't see what your expulsion means. You aren't her students anymore, so now you're finally free to speak to Izumi as equals. <gasps> oh! oh. Course, you're too chicken to try it. Ah, uh, damn! Thank you. We're heading back there right now. <laughs> Don't let her kill you! <laughs> Good advice. That matches my feelings and expectations more, because they just had that moment where they both shared and similar experiences they both sort of been to the depths of humanity and god there is sort of no going back from that right teacher ah! what the hell are you doing coming back here and you called me teacher i do not teach scum like you get out of my home teacher we came to you because we're trying to find a way to get our bodies back and we won't leave without your help get out now we're, we're staying, staying. Al, you didn't see the truth, did you? No. I don't really even know what that means. His entire body was taken from him. Just think what he must have seen. What, is it something bad? No, it's more like awful. Yeah, horrifying. It could drive you insane. Or even leave you brain dead. You're really selling it, guys. This is exciting, because I'd love to explore this more. That being, whatever it was. The truth. Could Al have seen more than what they saw? I have an acquaintance that might know a way to retrieve your memory for you. <laughs> but let's eat dinner first. Give me a hand. Okay. That was so sweet. The rumors are true. He's no, no, no. Stop. Souls. Of course he has a tail. It just won't be the same without you. You brought a little color to this dreary desert. <laughs> I'm boring compared to some of the stories I've heard about you. Such a climber. And I feel like I've grown as an officer, thanks to the variety of work you've allowed me to take on. Huh? Checkmate. Ah! It took me long enough to beat you. You can consider that my going away gift. There was a subtle but cool scene, like Roy playing chess. That's sort of his life, right? He's, he's a chess player, and he's good at it. He's really good at it. And he wants to win. And he feels like it's his right to win. Well then... <laughs> If you're in a gift-giving mood, there's something else I'd like. He's good! That was the most dramatic request I've ever seen. How do I ask questions as dramatically as Roy Mustang? Well then, if you're in a gift-giving mood, there's something else I'd like to ask. Have a wonderful day. Master Sergeant Kane Fury. Warrant Officer Vato Fallman. Second Lieutenant Hymans Breda. Second Lieutenant Gene Havoc. Gene Havoc, damn. All five of you are transferring to Central with me. And no objections. Understood. He's building his squad. I've got a problem, sir. See, I just started dating this girl and I really like her. Dump her. What has she done for you lately? Oh, it's Scar. We haven't seen him in a while. Master, what you're doing is senseless revenge. You must end this cycle once and for all. Look at that, he really is here. Yoki, how could you do something like this? You lost your war, but I'll rise again. I'll rise up. I will rise, and I'll use my power to annihilate Edward Elric. Who is this rando? It's obvious that I'll only bring more trouble if I stay here. Well, thanks for making this easy, pal. No! Damn. what you do to him? <laughs> I'll give you a moment to pray to God. You should be the one praying, freak! Why do henchmen never learn? So you're leaving then. Your brother would be sad. Still, it's too late to turn back now. Uh, 
So I really like what they're doing with Scar. There are lots of things that frame him not as his evil villain, but as somebody who is troubled. The villagers have been nice to him. He has a master who's obviously, you know, a really kind person. And Scar has suffered an insane amount of loss. He's connected to a lot of the other characters in the sense that he also is fixated on one vision. And that vision is something that gives his life meaning and he doesn't know how to get out of it. It seems like most of the characters have some kind of motivation like that with varying degrees of health and morality. Ed and Alchemy, Al and taking care of his brother, Winry and taking care of the brothers, Roy Mustang and winning the big chess game. So in many ways, Scar is on a parallel path to the other characters, and that makes it more exciting when, when they intersect, because we sort of understand where they all come from. We know your secret. Meet us at the Devil's Nest if you want to talk. Why don't you come with us? But my teacher always said I'm not supposed to go with strangers. <laughs> How old are you? Yeah. I'd say 14 is old enough to think for yourself, kid. You gotta act like an adult. Start taking some risks. You think so? I should think for myself? <laughs> I love how he's yes. actually listening to the you advice. Start by coming with okay. So I thought it over for myself. And I decided that I should just make you tell me what I want to know. Damn. Didn't see that coming. Nah. <laughs> Phrasing. All I'm trying to do is slow you down a little. For my turn. Why is this so uncomfortable for me? They're chimeras, and they happen to work for me. Full Metal Alchemist. Roa Beto Martel Dolcetto and Full Greed! Oh, he's one of the, uh, whatever you call them. It's impossible. No one's made a chimera that can talk. You can't believe everything the government tells you, kid. You got all the proof you need right inside you. The girl in there is part snake. And this big guy here, Ro, what were you made with? Cow? Yeah. Well, you've also got a lizard and a crocodile. Oh, I thought that was gluttony, but it's not. Just another extremely creepy looking character. And the little runt you took down earlier tends to lift his leg when he pees. All at once! You're part dog? Who would even be capable of creating one? The military. Are you saying? You got right. it. There's a shadow world beneath yours that's jam-packed with the impossible. Hell, I'm more uncommon than they are. I'm a homunculus. Homunculus. You know what that means, right? Nope. I'm an artificially created human. <sighs> so yeah, this has been really heavily set up, right? That there's something going on in the military. It's possible that Bradley knows about it or is planning it. And this might be what Hughes uncovered too. It's all connected, right? The prison system, the war, the chimera experiments, and I guess now the humunculus experiments. We also saw that when, I think it was Gluttony who got his arm blown off by Scar, there was something wrong about that, right? Like he didn't seem to take any damage from it. Yes, I gotta prove it. Do they do this often? Wow. Right, okay, that explains it. Right, and also we saw the, the leader of this group, the woman. She took a knife to the head from Hughes and she didn't even feel it. I'm more interested in hearing what it's like to have a body that'll never die. An individual soul transmuted and bound to an object? It sounds like that's the perfect recipe for immortality to me. Hmm. Let me explain. See, I'm greed. I want everything you can think of. Subtle. How'd you get your body? I wish I could tell you. That would mean I actually remember how I got it. But even if I could, I'm not the one who did the transmutation. That's not a problem. In that case, I'll just ask the person who did. <sighs> this is also interesting because there's so many things that could come out of this. One, doesn't the fact that there are humunculuses, humunculi? Suggests that maybe there's some other ways for Ed and Al to get their their bodies back But also immortality adds a whole new goal and sort of connects to the idea of like God and truth I only have vague ideas right now, but I feel like this is a big thing This is a big development the humunculus humunculi and also the suggestion that Al is immortal I'd be happy to tell you where you could find him But first you tell me what his secret is Never really crossed my mind that you could get kidnapped this guy's a homunculus! Are you serious? Hey, way to ruin it. You might be able to get some leads from him on how to get our original These guys are always back. working. Always working towards their goal. You guys are pretty desperate to get your bodies back, right? 
Because I can teach you how to fabricate your own homunculus in no time at all. In return, all I ask is you teach me how to transmute a soul. Classic equivalent exchange. Doesn't seem that bad. But I really don't understand why you would want your other body back. <laughs> Seems like you've got one that's perfect already. No, I don't! Shut your damned mouth! <laughs> Sounds great to you! It seems perfect! You don't know anything about the hell he's had to go through stuck with that body! Did you want to know how to transmute a soul? You kidnapped <laughs> my brother and you want to trade secrets with me? I'm gonna crush you, creeps! I'll smash you! End you! And I won't give you slime anything! In other words, there Damn. will be an exchange with you! <laughs> He's going in! <laughs> that was intense. Yeah, seriously. Amazing. I guess we're doing this by force again. little hand sword of yours is kind of neat, but it can't even scratch my ultimate shield. Where do you learn that one? That move would have hospitalized most people. But you're not like most people, huh? All that sets me apart are my ultimate shield and my advanced healing powers. That's it? Oh. You're one of those guys. You don't care if somebody beats the crap out of you, but if someone leaves a finger on a family member, you completely freak out. <laughs> Sorry to let you down, but I've been holding back. This obscures my handsome face, so I try not to wear it that much. I wasn't kidding, kid. Try all you like, but you're not gonna beat me. Interesting. I found this lying in the alley. Then you're saying... They're both missing? Those idiots! Are we gonna get to see Izumi fight? I hope so. Otherwise I'd kill them! I think I can help. Here, catch. A friend of mine noticed a short blonde haired kid heading into a bar called the Devil's Nest. Thank you, stranger. <laughs> Very helpful. I mean, he was right about one thing. Ed will take a beating for Al. Seems like he has no regard for his life, almost. There you go. You're chock full of piss and vinegar. Winry's gonna be pissed. Thanks for toying with me. What? You gave me just enough time to cool off and start thinking clearly. Is my mechanic amazing or what? Even after all this, it's still working. <laughs> what did you just do? You want to track this out, kid? He just did something. Stay down! <laughs> Nice. That was bizarre. Good as new. What's he up to? What was that for? Come on again? Try a new one. You may be a homunculus, but you really shouldn't have told me that your body is human, considering that means a third of it is made of carbon. The hardness of carbon varies depending on how the atoms are arranged, so it's obvious that's what your shield is made of. Once I got that figured out, the rest is simple alchemy. Damn, all that studying in the library really paid off, huh? That is the only hero I could think of right now who gets power through reading. <laughs> that's awesome. Read books! <laughs> and there's one other important thing I noticed! You can't harden your shield and heal at the same time! I think that it's safe to say that I underestimated you. Yeah, I'd say. But how much longer can you keep this up in your condition? Uh oh, you're in trouble now. You damn imbecile! <laughs> she attacks funny at not first. To put the broom away? I asked you a question. No, I'm so sorry. Thanks for your hospitality. Oh, give me a break. Don't tell me you're gonna try and start anything, lady. It's no fun fighting a woman. And that was his last mistake. <laughs> well now, just what the hell are you? Is she in the, her bathroom slippers? Oh, 
<laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> what an episode. That was a lot of fun. So after One is All, All is One, which is a super heavy philosophical episode with like really rich human themes, we have this awesome action episode, which I feel probably will actually move the story along. It's sort of confirmation that the military is doing something suspicious and immoral. We have the introduction of Greed, who's at odds with the Ouroboros. That's going to be interesting to see how that all happened and how that plays a role. But yeah, we have the homunculus. We have the idea that there are other ways to reconstruct a body. And we have an sort of an interesting way of thinking about Owl, that he's immortal. It's overall a really fun episode. It was like, it was funny too. Oh, and the development of Scar. We had a little bit of a feeling moment for Scar. We see that he once came from a really nice environment and might have been a great guy. All great stuff. This episode's a lot of fun. It's exciting. There's so many things developing at the same time. But anyway, that's it, and I'll see you next time. Well then, if you're in a gift-giving mood... <laughs> well then, if you're in a gift-giving... <laughs>